Hello, this is Mary Lynn Van Sweeten. I will be showing you the different addresses that are stored for customers in Sage 100. The screen we are looking at is the customer maintenance panel for Sage 100C version 2017 where the customer's billing address is displayed. This will be the address used for sales orders, sales order invoices, and also invoices generated from the accounts receivable module. However, the billing address might not be enough. Your customers may need their products shipped to a different location. By clicking on the More button in the top right corner of the panel, I have a little drop-down menu that comes up that's going to contain Ship to Addresses. This option is only available if the sales order module is installed and activated for this company. I'm going to use the little lookup uh, icon and you can see that I have four locations here. Now the location code is four characters, alphanumeric. You can choose to use those characters any way you like. In my sample data though, I've created just one, two, three, and four. I'm going to bring up uh, uh, location number one, and when we compare that to the address over on cu the customer maintenance panel, we're going to see some differences. One of the important things not only is the address that's different, but the phone number, the email contact could be different, the contact code could be different. Here's a really terrific, helpful one, and this is the warehouse. This is my warehouse that I'm going to ship from when I am shipping to this location. Also, the salesperson is different. Here I have Susan. The customer maintenance screen shows Jim. When I am shipping to this location, Susan will be receiving the commission rather than Jim. You'll notice that my default ship via is different from the um, customer master, as well as the ta sales tax schedule. Here I have a Milwaukee schedule, and um, when I'm looking at the sales tax code, well, on this one, sorry, I have the same, but you can, will see when I'm looking at other locations, I have a different uh, sales tax schedule. Now, when I create a sales order for this customer, I'm going to do it for ABF, and you'll see that the ship to address is um, taken from location number three. I can easily change it up here on the first panel, or when I come to the address panel, I can change it here as well. Now all of the defaults that were from that ship to address are going to repopulate the header, such as tax schedule, salesperson, warehouse. Then, of course, this uh, ship to address is also going to show up on my pick sheets and on my packing slips. Now, there's one more set of addresses that I'd like to point out to you. And coming up to the little menu up here that was under the More button, I'm going to click on Contacts. I could track contacts for my customers. I have a 10 character contact code and in here I can uh, store the address for this contact along with their phone numbers, their email address, and a little note that might help me work with them a little bit better. These addresses have no further functionality within Sage. This is for informational purposes only. Now, of course, if you have Sage CRM integrated with Sage 100, then these contact codes will sync up with Sage CRM. It's in CRM that you would actually maintain and track all of your communications. Hope this helps you get more out of Sage 100. Thank you.